Hello everybody. Today we are going to show you a basic internal construction of a three phase transformer. How a three phase uh, transformer internally looks like and what are the various basic components. Today we are going to focus on that thing. So let's start. So you can see I am having here two sections. This one, this is actually the cut section of a given three phase core trans core type transformer. And you can see here I am having a compact section of the same transformer, three phase transformer. Right? And this is the cut section. So today I will show you how it internally looks like and what are the various basic components. So let's start. You can see the visible things which I am having. This is the winding one. This is winding two. Other words I can say this is phase one. This is phase two. This is phase three. Right? So and these windings are actually wound on a limb. You can see in my hand this is actually the core which is in the laminated form. Right? Or you can say we say this is the limb upon which we wound the winding which is here actually. You can see which is which is internal to this winding as you can see we are having three windings winding one winding two and winding three that means uh, there are three limbs and the structure of limbs looks like this this is not a solid section as you know that to avoid eddy current losses we laminate this core and depending upon the given parameters accordingly we set the limbs uh, limb size right the length and the breadth right so this structure looks like looks like right and up, upon which we first give the insulation and then after that we start giving the windings so you can see we are having three windings. So limb one, limb two, and limb three, and the structure looks like this. After that, we uh, give the windings. You can see, you can see we are having the windings depending upon the number of turns and the rating of this machine. We are having, right? You can see this is the pre layer of the uh, given winding. After that, we give the insulation. You can see we are having this paper insulation over this layer. Right. In between, we are having <coughs> another paper insulation. You can see. So, uh, for a given phase, we are having two windings wound on this limb because this is a three-phase transformer. Obviously, I will be having six windings. Three from three, three are from primary side and three are up secondary. And for a given phase, primary and secondary windings are wound on the same limb. Right. You can see the four terminals are on a given limb. Two blocks to the primary winding and two blocks the secondary side. And I, uh, later on, I will show you how we can recognize those. After that, I am having this top section. You can see of this transformer, which actually represents the top yoke, right? Uh, which uh, completes the path of the flux. This is the yoke, right? And this is the clamping structure, right? Which fits this core and uh, this yoke by using uh, these tightening these screws. If we want to remove the uh, any winding. We need to lose these bolts and remove the clamping structure. After that, we can remove the stop yoke and we can remove any winding if it is defected. But similarly, we can see on the downward sides we are having this, this is the, the down yoke, uh, this is the top yoke, this is the down yoke that is also having a clamping structure. It is also settled by clamping structures. Right? So, these are the, actually the basic internal components which transform which have a winding. We have insulation, core, we have yoke and we have clamping structure, right? So if we want to make this transformer, because I am having 12, uh, you can see I am having 12 terminals, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 10, 12, because these are three single phase transformers, we can uh, design a three phase single transformer and we can connect the winding in star connected fashion as well as in delta connected fashion. For that, we need to connect these windings accordingly. I will show you. So. First of all, we have to recognize uh, which uh, terminal belongs to a particular winding. Say, if we want to recognize primary winding of this phase, and for that, what we need to do, we have we need a voltmeter, and we kept it at the continuity knob, right? So now we want to recognize any winding uh, which two terminals belongs to the say either I have to recognize a primary winding. For that, say I, I will select any one terminal from the bottom one. You can see. I will touch this multimeter knob with this and for that I have to search its end terminal say if the start terminal of a particular winding what I will do I will touch it with this terminal you can see no value of resistance is reflected by multimeter neither any beep noise is produced that means this winding has nothing to do with this winding they are completely electrically isolated right that means this terminal belongs to some other winding. So and after that, I have the another terminal of upward side. I will connect with this. You can see, you can see the beep noise has appeared, 
and the, uh, the value of resistance is reflected by the multimeter indicates that indicates that this terminal and this terminal this terminal and this terminal belongs to a particular winding say if i am assuming that this winding because they are having the same cross section area if i am assuming that this winding belongs to the primary winding you can see these two terminals now must show the continuity you can see you can see the beep sound is produced and the value of resistance is reflected considering this phase as an r phase that means the one winding is the primary winding of this phase and this winding is the secondary winding of this phase or vice versa right so that means i have recognized the terminals so if i am from the bottom i is the start terminal so this is the start terminal this is the start terminal of one winding and this is the end terminal of that winding similarly this is the start terminal of the secondary winding this is the end terminal of another winding similarly i will recognize for this phase and this phase the data then after that knowing the start and end terminal i can design any three phase configuration whether i have to connect it start and i have to connect it in delta so let's start to design this transfer i will connect its primary winding in star and connect its secondary winding in delta so for that the connection function is like this suppose i want to connect primary winding terms of all the three phase in star for that what i need to do this is the schematic of the star connected winding you can see the start terminal and end terminal of one winding this is the start and end terminal of another winding this is the start and end terminal of third winding so what i am doing the end terminals are shorted on a common point which actually represents the neutral point of star connected winding and the start terminal start terminal and the start terminal of of these windings will represent the three phase r phase y phase and v phase that means this is the phase r this is phase y this will become phase v and this point will become the neutral point so between if we check the voltage between r and y that will be represented by the line voltage and if you check the voltage between r and a neutral that will give the value of phase voltage so measuring the voltage between the two lines will give the line voltage between and measuring the voltage between a line and a phase will give you the value of phase voltage so let's first start at these windings and start so suppose this winding is my primary winding of this phase similarly if this say using the multimeter data this is say the primary winding of this phase and suppose this is the primary winding of this phase phase third r phase y phase and v phase as suppose the downward terminals are the start terminals of these three phases so what i will do this is the downward terminal this is the downward terminal right and this is the downward terminal this say the end terminals as shown in the circuit diagram you can see the end terminals are shorted on a common point so this is the end terminal of this phase uh, this is the end terminal of this uh, phase and this is the end terminal of this phase primary winding what i will do i will short them okay this will become be the neutral point of primary winding and these are the three phases you can see this is phase r this is my phase y and this is my phase blue so on the primary side you can see the terminals are looking like this phase r phase y phase blue like this phase r phase y phase r phase y and phase blue and this is the neutral point right if we measure the voltage across these two lines that will be the line voltage if we measure it with respect to the neutral point that will be the phase voltage so what is now left to us will be the six terminals which is actually terminal 1 which is actually terminal 1 and we'll be having now six terminals of the secondary winding you can see 2 4 and 6 now what i have to do i have to connect say now as in delta for that what i have to do i will show you the schematic for delta okay so start terminal and terminal of a given winding start terminal and terminal of a given winding start terminal and terminal of a given winding for that what i need to do i have you see start and end terminal are connected up in two windings and that will become me the one phase say that is phase blue similarly the end terminal of this winding and start terminal of this winding and that will become the phase y and start and end terminal of this these two phases that will become the phase r so i will do the same procedure i will do the same procedure say this is the winding this is actually the end this is the start 
and this is the another while this is the start this is the end and this is start this is end so let's uh, start from this modeling you can see the schematic is here so if we choose from this terminal say this is the start terminal this will go to the end terminal of this modeling it's the downward terminal so i will connect it here the start terminal of this winding and the end terminal of this uh, mid winding right i have shorted this so this has become my phase r right similarly i will choose the start terminal of this mid winding with the end terminal of this winding so this is this terminal so this will become my another phase b so what's left us the end terminal the start terminal of this winding so this has become the phase y so on the delta you can see i'm think phase r phase y phase b that means there's no neutral in the delta and on the star side you can see i'm having this the neutral point these are the three phase phase r phase y b that means on the star side i can measure the phase voltage as well as the line voltage and on the delta side i'm having only the line voltage right and how these line voltage said line phase voltage and line currents and these phase currents are correlated and the same will be uploaded in the next video that means we will load at that time we will load the transformer and show how these line voltage and phase voltage we measure and correlate their values so this was all about and see the internal construction of the given three phase cut section transformer and how we can make any possible three phase configuration at start and later thank you